What up, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Friendster, Friendster, SoundCloud, SoundClick, and all points Twitter and social media. That's your boy Tone202. I'm going to talk about something that uh, I found in the news and CNN. And uh, it's very disheartening. Uh, bring back our girls. This is a hashtag on Twitter. And it's about Boko Haram, a sect in Nigeria. I'll leave a link in the description. A sect in Nigeria that has captured over 200 girls in the night. And 30 of them actually escaped. They jumped off the, I guess they were on buses, jumped off the buses because they said that the men did not look innocent. And, oh, sorry. I'm sorry. And basically, they're selling them as wives and, you know, of course, sex slaves. Uh, Boko Haram is, it, 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 it's, they're Muslims. And they're radical Muslims. They're very dangerous. They're armed. They're like an armed militia in Nigeria. And basically, their name, Boko Haram, means Western government is sinful which a lot of radical Muslims believe that Western Muslim, uh, that, that westernized uh, religion is sinful, you know. And uh, so it doesn't surprise me that that's what their name means. Like, so nonetheless, it's not sinful to, to kidnap a bunch of girls, not women, girls. They took girls from their mothers. Uh, it, uh, a bunch of girls, and I think they took them out of a, because they have all girls schools over there. I think they took them out of school. I'm not sure about that, but that's what it looks like. It looks like they went and raided a school, and so they didn't take the moms. They took girls, but that's not sinful at all. The kidnap and then kidnap a child. Oh no, that's not sinful. Well, Western uh, man. So I'm just doing my part to make people aware that this is on Twitter. Hashtag Bring Back Our Girls. And uh, it just, it's enough to make you want to arm yourself and go over there and just start wrecking shop. You know what I mean? Because it's just, it's so messed up. And, the, and the, you know what's, I hate to get, you know, and what's really pissed off about it is these people are, have taken to the streets in mass numbers against their own government. And, and we know that the, in the, I mean, I can't speak against Nigerian government because I know nothing about Nigerian government, uh, uh, like, officially. I know all hearsay. And let's face it, our government ain't the greatest. But let 200 girls go missing and something's going to happen. Uh, so these people are taken to the streets. They're doing all they can. And, and, both, uh, and, and, and I can't even say their name anymore. And what they did was they took these girls to, like, the furthest end, like, to a jungle part. Of, so they're not on the streets somewhere. They took them into the jungle at the edge of Nigeria. And Nigeria is not a small place. So they got so they're really pissed that their government is just not doing enough. And that's what I'm pissed about, like, let that be your kid and see if you won't, you know, uh, uh, bring out a Uzi and, and go search for your kid in the middle of the night. Because I know I would. You know what I mean? Like, this world, this world, this world, this world is so crazy. This world is so crazy. This world. This world is so crazy. There's just nobody cares. Nobody, there's just no love. Oh, it's just no love. Nobody, nobody gives a damn. How could you not care about a, any child? How could you not arm your military and just go and find these girls? Why would you not do that? Why? Why? It was me. If I had the power, I would arm angels. And we would go and find those men. And if one of those girls were harmed, 
they would pay hell's price. Man. It's your boy Tone202. I gotta go.